One of the trickiest things in modern construction sites is often to balance your earthworks volumes and all your volumes on the project. If we're looking at earthworks volumes, um, TBC has got many tools to assess the earthworks volumes, but there's a new tool released with 5.7 that allows you to help um, quickly balance a site faster. Um, before, then it was a case of trial and error. So we could, for instance, in this example here, we've got a pad that has a one and three fill tie and a one and two cat tie slope. And one of the great advantages of TBC in the past and going forward is that we generally don't have to rebuild a model from scratch if we, if we change one of the parameters or one of the elements that belong to that model. So if I wanted to raise this pad to say 115, then because that tie has the parameter of one and three when it's in fill, then it will automatically change to one and three fill in its entirety. And if I was to drop it down to 100, then it would become a one and two cut and we could basically recalculate our earthworks accordingly. So up until now, what we'd normally have done is create our two surfaces, our design surface, our original ground level surface, we'd choose earthworks reports, we'd check, choose the original and the final, and we would basically um, do a calculation. And you can see that currently this is far from a balanced situation. So we've got a deficit of uh, 48,000. Um, so what we could do traditionally in TBC is basically try tweaking this and raising up and down, see if we can get a balance. Volume grids has been something that's been in TBC for a long time, but there is a new parameter in 5.7 that allows you to get some useful information from it. So I'll just call this volume grid grid one. Again, we're going to start with the OGL. We start with a tie. I'm not going to have any boundaries and we can create a rough grid spacing and essentially what it'll the will effectively do is create a coarse um, isopachite surface between the two surfaces. So if we hit apply and if we go to the plan view, we can see that we've got an isopachite surface. The reds are obviously our areas of cut, the blue are areas of fill. And if we go to the 3D view, we can see that essentially that's all obviously going to be around zero and this white line here or this white band will be your zero contour um, line that shows the transition between cuts and fills. In 5.7 what we can now do is we can click and view the properties of that uh, volume grid and we see a couple of useful parameters. So one of them is the approximate um, balance amount for the surface. So essentially we need to change one of these surfaces by 727 mil to get it to balance. Um, the other thing that we're seeing here is the approximate volume delta per 0.1 meter. So what it's saying is roughly if we drop any of these surfaces by or raise a surface by 0.1 meter, that is going to have an approximate volume um, of 6629 that or that will have an effect on my volume by 6629. So based on this parameter here, we can go back and we can select the CAD POI line and we can see that the parameters was minus 727. So we'll just put that in and we can use mathematical operators. So we can put 108 minus 729, 727 rather. And we can see that that's dropped that and we can now rerun our earthworks report and we can say, okay, we've dropped, the OGL remains the same, we've dropped the tie surface, there's no boundary and we can say, okay, and we can see that we're within 127 cube of balancing the site compared to what we had before, which was we had 48,000 of a deficit on our volumes. So it's a very useful tool for helping um, modern construction professionals for from balancing uh, sites and parts of sites.